All right, it's time for a change. Yep, new setup coming our way. We love the bus. We've yeah. lived, lived in it for about two years now, and we do love it. It's been really good. Us wrong. Sometimes I question whether we're doing the right thing by changing our setup. Yeah. But there is two main reasons why we're changing. Number one is we, with the bus, we have to leave the 60 series behind. We can't afford to drive both vehicles. Yeah, it feels crazy at the moment. There's no way we can pay, pay for diesel for both for no. our travels, so. And we really want to have the 60 with us. So. Yep. Plus it's a four wheel drive, which yeah. we miss having a four wheel drive. And reason number two, we've always wanted to renovate a vintage caravan. Yeah, so that gives away what the new, new setup's gonna be. So we wanna start looking for a vintage caravan. That's the plan. We'll see what we can find. We have pretty much, I think we'll choose one out of one of two brands, that being a Millard or a Viscount. They're probably the best ones around from what we can tell. Yeah, they were like the most produced caravan back in that time. Yeah. So it should be easy to come by it. And they're still on the road today. Yeah. So they can obviously withstand travels. Mm. But yeah, so this all means that welcome to a new series of finding an old caravan and renovating an old caravan yes. which we're pretty excited about. that's another thing we we're really itching for a project we love building this bus but we thought it's time for something else yeah reason number three something else to get creative with so welcome and yeah we'll start shopping around for a caravan yeah and we'll take you guys with us <laughs> yeah find the right one all right let's go all right we're on our way to view the first caravan well yeah this is the first one we're going to look at there's been like a lot that we've liked there was actually one that we did a video call of but then that sale fell through um but yeah so this one's going to be like in person it's also in the town that my mum lives in so it's in a great location if we are to get it it's not the it's not the brand of caravan that we wanted, but it's still a cool retro caravan. So, yeah. I guess we'll see when we have a look and see if it fits the budget. Hopefully it does. Yeah, we're just walking in there now. See so how we go. We will try to do a sneaky little video in there to show you guys. about to see I'm gonna I'm not gonna say cabin number two I'm gonna say number three because we did see one via video call and I still count that as like the first one we looked at we I don't know I've got a good feeling about this one it's a very cool looking one it looks like it's pretty rough it's a but Viscount Grand Tourer Tourer. which isn't originally what we wanted but I like it so like the wraparound windows we'll show you the rest when we're there it looks like it definitely needs some love, but I have high hopes because he's got it at a really good price. And if we can get it even cheaper, it will be like the f***ing bargain of the century. Just might be a little bit more work. We'll see, but we'll see. We're just assuming all these things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's nice because one, it's in Queensland, which is a bonus because I'd rather get one in Queensland and we have to mess around with trying to tow a caravan through Australia to get it back to Luke's parents. We've got somewhere to store it up here. Mm. We'll see. But the main thing now that we're looking for is just about brakes, really. Like, if it's got brakes, that's even more of a reason to kind of go for it. So, yeah. We'll see. Hopefully, Hopefully. he messages soon. I'm over this van because I'll make just us around. But... Yeah, I still have, I don't know. I had a feeling he was going to message when we were leaving. So, I guess we'll just see see if it is the one if not i don't know the next ones we like are in new south wales so 
Right, so just checking in. We never said anything about that van. Because it was a piece of sh it, it was a piece of sh Um, you'll see in the video here. It just, yeah. It was just too far gone. He straight up was like, three and a half, you can have it. I still wouldn't have paid that. I think if we were looking for a project, it would have been tempting. Because I think we could have got a cheaper van three and a half. It was a full strip job. It stunk. It was just, all, all the, the laminate was stuffed. Yeah, all of the air and stuff was peeling off the cabinets. Yeah. Old mate was like, oh, I just need to go clean. And I was like, It oh. was, yeah, it was a lot. Um, so we were just like, no. But now we're on our way to another van. This was the one that Luke initially really liked, but the only reason we didn't like make it be the one is because one, we saw it posted and she'd only had it for three days, she had it up for seven, five. Luke pretty much straight away offered her six because that is pretty much the ballpark of our budget. She straight up said no, which is fair because she'd only had it online for, you know, like a few days. Um, but yeah, we offered her six again. Some time has passed and she said she'll do six five. And from what we can see, it's in pretty good nick. So, hopefully, we are not driving four hours out of the way for nothing. <laughs> oh, so God. Narrow, beaten up old country roads. Yeah. Um, and also, well, I mean, we've got, we even actually went to the bank and we got the money out. So it's, I would say we're like 90% sure we're going to drive away. With as long the as van. there's nothing wrong with the, the van, we'll take it. Which I don't think there will be, but we'll obviously have to, it's roadworthy. So the thing is she just got a blue slip, so she just got it re-registered about three months ago or two months ago, I think. So it's still got 10 months rego, which is good. But also to have the blue slip means it was all roadworthy. So it's obviously passed its safety certificate or whatever they do in New South Wales, pink slip, blue slip, whatever. So that's a good sign. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed we're not going out here for like no reason. Good. Yeah, very cool. Pretty clean. Yeah. Now we are on. Whoa, look how much lower it is than the bus. The bus is so tall. All right. We bought a van. So we bought it. We had a good feeling about this one. This was kind of like Luke's favorite from the beginning. Yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah, no, it's really cool, honestly. And even with the layout, this was like initially, this was the layout, the size, everything that I wanted. So it ticked like kind of all those boxes, as well as being really good condition for its age. Like, obviously, it needs a little bit of love, but it's probably one of the cleanest ones that we've seen that wasn't a ridiculous price. Yeah, it was a good find. It was, um, what you call a barn find. Yeah, they so, literally just had it stored in, stored in their shed. Yeah. The person we bought it off had it for 10 years and it was in the shed most of the time. Mm, and the person before her lived in it in a shed. So it hasn't really done much touring. Unless the. Because there would have been someone before that guy, surely. Who knows? Well, there's a number on but, the front, 260, which looks like it might have been in a caravan park at one stage. Yeah. But so, yeah. It's a mystery, that one. Yeah. But, um exciting we're excited yeah we yeah. have to put it into storage for a that's few months part. so that's the hard part because 
we usually get so excited about stuff like this like we would if we would have had the chance to like get straight into it i know we would have do you want to give some details about the van um oh i don't even know the details it's 1980 <laughs> It's a Viscount. It's a 1980. Yeah, Viscount. Well, I don't know what type it is though, because top top. yeah, we wanted an Explorer, which is and the this 1970s. Is, yeah, they had like 78, 79. This looks like an Explorer, but slightly different. So I don't know. And then after this, there's like Grand Tours and stuff. So I don't really know which where it's locked shape in. Again. Yeah. So the front of this looks like an Explorer, but the back of it has changed a and the bit. pop top's different to an explorer yeah, pop -top's different. so we'll get on the um we'll have to find out we'll get on the viscount group and see if someone will know find an actual name for it and we'll put it down here somewhere yeah we'll find out because it would be good to know Good morning. Hello. This is day one. Day two. Day two. Of having the caravan. Yeah. Day, day one was a bit of a, um, we changed our plans. We were originally going to go south and Holly from Overland Travellers had organised a place for us to leave the van. Yeah, we only got her mum's place. Um, just for like a few weeks until Luke's dad could come down and pick it up or I was getting like prices of getting a truck to tow it up to um Mackay as well yeah but then um we found out dad chucked a sickie for a whole swing so <laughs> um he's driving down today actually yeah he leaves today so we're now changing our plans a little bit we're gonna drive a few hours north back into Queensland just to meet him so he doesn't have to do like the full like 12 hour drive down to us just yeah. to make it a bit easier for him because he's obviously doing us a huge favor by coming and picking up the caravan mm -hmm. <laughs> But um, yesterday turned into a bit of a mission as well. We um, got the tyres changed because they were about eight years old. And then the bloke at the tyre shop snapped one of our studs. It was already cracked, so it's not his fault. But So you're lucky that I'll... we changed them. Because we weren't going to because they were roadworthy. Like we it just got a roadworthy. But Luke's dad was like, oh, I'd be changing the tyres if they're that old. And like lucky because imagine something happened. Yeah, we found the, the broken stud. So we had to find a mechanic last thing yesterday afternoon, which is, you know, mechanics don't like last minute jobs, but <laughs> we found someone who saved us. Yeah. So thanks to him, we are heading to Dolby today. Yeah. Yay. It's so tempting to want to take it to Tasmania, yeah. like just fully go get the 60 and then swap or like tell Luke's dad to take the bus back up, but the caravan has nothing in it. So we'd be pretty much roughing it the whole time we're in Tassie so yeah. it just doesn't make sense but there no, we'll, is the temptation we'll finish our plans <laughs> and then come back to the van yeah you go in <laughs> she's staring at ghosts bestie Wait, you ready to go <laughs> Oh, check out ghost. Oh yeah, it's all right. It's not too far at the back, like too low. Bye bye. Sayonara. There it goes. <laughs> 